Alright, we want to prove this one for n is greater or equal to 3. So this time it's a little bit different to what we've done in the past. This time is n is greater or equal to 3, not 1. So when we do our step 1, we have to show it's true for n equals to 3. And as I said guys, in a, for our left hand side, this last term here is our general term. So I want you to sub in 3 into here, just like that. So that will simplify to 1 on 3. Now for our right hand side, you should substitute n equals to 3 into here, like that. And that would simplify to 1 on 3 as well. So now you can see that left hand side is right hand side, therefore it is true for n equals to 3. Now we'll do step 2 for our assumption, assume it's true for n equals to k. So make all the n's equal to k, and that will be our assumption. And then step 3, this is our assumption which we'll use soon. Uh, we want to prove it's true for n equals to k plus 1. It's going to look like this. So up to here, up to here is the same as the, what we've done in the assumption, which is n is just k. But because we're adding an extra 1 to n, so it's going to be n equals to k plus 1, we have another term added to it, or multiplied to it. So we have 1 minus 2 over k plus 1, which is an additional 1. And of course, our right-hand side, we're going to make k, k plus 1, and k is k plus 1, so k plus 1 minus 1 is just k. Okay, so we've got the left-hand side and right-hand side all fixed up. So now we just need to prove it. Left-hand side, which is this all here, has changed to this one. And the reason why I did that, and you can see that these two are just the same, so I left it as it is. But you can see, guys, that our assumption, which is, well, sorry, this part here, is exactly the same as what we've done in our assumption, isn't it? So these two are the same. So therefore this is this. So I replaced that with this, just like I did here. So that's what I did there. So therefore now all I need to do is simplify it. And I want to make first this into a single fraction. I know that 1 is k plus 1 over k plus 1. I just did that so I have the same denominator as that. So it's going to be k plus 1 minus 2, okay, or the whole thing over k plus 1. And all I need to do is simplify further. I know that k plus 1 minus 2 is k minus 1. And guys, have a look. Because we're multiplying and we know that k minus 1, these are common, we can cancel them out. So we just have 2 over k times k plus 1 left. And now compare it with our right-hand side, that one. Is it the same? Yes it is. So I can clearly say that's the right hand side and make a conclusion. If the statement is true for n equals to k, which is our assumption, it's true for n equals to k plus 1, just like we proved there. So it's true for all integers, n is greater than or equal to 3. Okay, make sure you don't have a truly right 1 by the use of induction and that's our conclusion. So make sure you don't forget to write the conclusion. But again, make sure you change this part to n is greater or equal to 3. Okay, not 1.